info spot 411 YouTube channel another product review for you this is it the copper knife as seen on TV and supposedly this copper knife stays sharp forever let me put this in so you can get a closer look at it here the copper knife never needs sharpening supposedly as seen on TV now I got this copper knife let me flip this around one more time. I got this off eBay, I believe, oh, a few months ago for $7.50, free shipping. This copper knife sells anywhere from $7 to $10, and it's all over eBay and Amazon. So you will not have a hard time finding this copper knife on eBay or Amazon. Uh, like I say again, I got this for $7.50 on eBay. I'm going to give it a product review, everybody. Uh, a few months back, I did a uh, product review on the surgical steel knife. I got a thumbs up. So let me put this to the test and see how it performs. And now I'm going to test this on some bread and fruits and vegetables. And then to top it off, I'm going to give it a good test on the pineapple. I don't necessarily believe in, I don't necessarily believe in cutting open an empty beer can or taking some rope like they've done with those Ginsu knives and stuff. I like to do my product review on a knife on how we're going to use it. You know, this is a good, we'll see if it's a good kitchen knife or it isn't. But this is a kitchen knife, so I want to use this on the type of stuff that if you were to buy one, you'd use it. So without further ado, let's get into it. The copper knife. Okay, let me open this up as seen on TV. I can't wait here. Now, never need sharpening. I'll have to find that out over the course of a year. I have a hard time believing that. You know, this thing will never need sharpening. But at any rate, I'm going to give it a good uh, product review test here and run it through the paces and uh, see if she gets a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Just got to cut this thing open first. I'm making a mess on your floor here, Paul, but yeah, all is good. Okay. Grab it with my fingers. Here we go, the copper knife. Okay. Get this all the way. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut open, I don't say cut open, I'm going to cut up the French bread here. And what I'm looking for with this copper knife is some nice slices. All right, one more time. Here's a closer look at it without being in the packaging. Uh, it's a solid knife. The surgical steel knife with Ben, this sucker is solid. Uh, got the little holes in it, and there's the sharp. Here's the handle. All right, let me test it out. And what I'm looking for here, again, is I want to see some nice slices without having to really just have any effort at all with this French bread. So we're making some spaghetti. Let's cut up on some French bread here. See how she cuts through it. Okay, cut off the butt end real nice. Let's cut a couple slices here, see how she performs. Okay, not having to work too hard on this. Like some nights with bread, you really got to go back and forth. This thing cuts through it pretty easily. Here's my slice of French bread. All right, one more slice. I'm just holding this steady because I'm cutting out a plate here to keep this plate from moving and the bread steady. Okay, not a problem at all. It cut through. Oh, it tore right off. Yeah, it cut through fine. Now, if I, had the cut, if I had the cutting board set up here, I'd probably have a little easier, better cut. But um, it did a good job cutting the French bread. Not bad at all. Let me set this up and out of the way, and let's cut up some other stuff here. Okay, next up, tomato, the copper knife. Now, I'm going to be looking for is just nice and easy slices. I want this to go through the tomato easily and give me a nice slice. And we'll check it out here. The copper knife, here we go. Wow, Paul, this thing just cuts right through it like it's a, a butter. No problem at all. Here's a look at the slice of the tomato. Not bad at all. You know, um, the only thing that affects the slice of this tomato is just me holding the knife and going through it, but uh, this was done easily. Easily this copper knife went through this tomato. No problem at all. So, okay, did a good job with the tomato. 
let's put, I'm just putting everything aside over here. Okay, I'm gonna go with the potato. Something a little harder. Let's see how the copper knife cuts through a potato. All right. Oh, here we go, guys. All right, that cut off really. So let's do a couple potato slices here. Not bad, not bad. Not much effort at all. Not much effort at all. Wow. I am impressed, Paul. I am, I am, this copper knife. So far, I am impressed and just cut through this potato <laughs> easily, with ease. Okay, next up. Uh, let's, let's give it a, a good run here. I'm going to get a big red onion. Let's see how it cuts up the onion. Okay, here we go. Copper knife, onion test. Cut off the butt. Okay, we cut up a good s couple slices here, right through it. Not bad, okay. All right, okay. Copper knife onion test here. Not bad, it just sliced through it. It's a little uneven, but like I say, if I had a cutting board, no problem, I got the plate, but it, it did the job. It cut through there, I didn't have to fight it. I didn't give me any trouble cutting up this onion, not at all. All right. Okay, two more items. The cucumber. All right, I'm going to get some cucumber slices for the salad. Time for the copper knife. Let's see how she does it. Oh, easy. Easy. Wow. <laughs> One more here, everybody. One more slice. This is a bigger slice, but as you can see, no problem at all for the copper knife. All right, lastly, before I give it the thumbs up, thumbs down, we're going to cut open this pineapple, and I'm going to start off with the top part. Usually it's a tough part to cut through and see how this copper knife uh, does the job. And then I'll cut some pineapple slices. So here we go. We got a fresh pineapple from the store. I'm going to cut off this right here. See how uh, she, this copper knife cuts through it. Does it have any problem getting through it? Let's get to it. The copper knife. And I'm coming through the tough part right now, the, the thick part of this pineapple stem. I just got to keep this plate moving on me. Yeah, okay, it's fighting me a little bit, but we're getting through it. There we go. Now, it did give me a little bit of struggle through it, but as you can see, you know, this is a thick part of the stem it had to cut through, so I cut that stem off of the pineapple right here. So, yeah, I cut that stem off, but part of that, too, was this plate moving. So, all right, let's cut up a couple pineapple slices, and then I'm going to get to the thumbs up, thumbs down on this copper knife. So far, I'm liking it, Paul, I tell you. I am. Let me try to, it's kind of difficult for me to cut right here, you see the camera, but anyway. Okay, let's get a pineapple slice. I'm gonna cut off a good chunk in the front. No problem. <laughs> Look at that. That big piece of pineapple, whoop. Just cut it like, with ease, with ease. Okay, one more slice here. Oops, I got this perfect. Okay. And now I'll cut up a so let's see how she cuts here, like a smaller pineapple slice. So we're slicing it up. Okay. I don't got so much room on my plate here. Let me see how this cuts up. Oh, that was just it just went through it like nothing. Just like nothing. Look, okay, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Let me bring this up. The Copper Knife product review. Uh, again, this Copper Knife, I got it for $7.50 off eBay. Uh, you can get it for $7 to $10 from eBay or Amazon. Uh, the Copper Knife product review, thumbs up. Uh, well worth the money well worth the money. You want a great kitchen knife under 10 bucks, this is something to go with. 
a great Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday gift, even a Christmas gift for a friend at work, uh, the copper knife. I don't know what else to say. It cut everything up here no problem, and it's a nice sturdy knife. Uh, never needs sharpening. Uh, 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 by the package it says, apparently it never needs sharpening. But uh, it cut everything up no problem. I like it. Again, the copper knife. Uh, thumbs up, product review. Uh, before I end the video, again, thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys with those likes and comments and watching my video. I truly do. Until my next video, stay safe and enjoy life.